Well, hello and welcome to Absolutely Positively. I am your host, Denny K. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for today's episode. And so you may be wondering, Absolutely Positively, Denny K, okay, what? APWDK, what? Glad you asked. Absolutely Positively with Denny K is all about the I-E-M or the I-E-M. <laughs> if you're asking and wondering, it is about the inspiration, the encouragement, and the motivation here in this space, this forum. And it's designed especially for you. I am trying my best to get you to that level of being the unique and wonderfully made person that God has called you to be. I know we all have it all inside. We have it all inside us. And that's what I'm here for. It's my purpose and my calling to be so. So that's a little bit about Absolutely Positively. And if you've been rocking with me, you know how I do it. I go into my Absolutely Positively jaw. And now that I actually have one, I made one. <laughs> It has quotes, positive things within it. And my hopes is as I reach in and pull something out, that something that is said, something that is done will motivate you and inspire you or encourage you to your greatness. So without further, further ado, <clears throat> let's get started. So as you saw, I have my jar. I've already picked out a quote earlier before this program. And I am going to share it with you because it's so simple, yet so powerful. And I will we'll go right into it. I'm not going to even give it a preference. This is by an unknown person, not that I know of anyway. Um, so if you find out who it is, let me know. I always want to give people credit where credit is due. So for now, this is from an unknown, but it just struck me. I actually saw it on social media and I thought, I got to put this on the show. So here it goes. Fear says, what if? Faith says, even if. Ooh, I'm already getting chills. I'll tell you, I'm already excited about it. Let's read it again. Fear says, what if? Faith says, even if. So, ooh, let's, 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 let's jump into it. Let's, let's break that down. So in our lives, I feel like that's a quote to a song or a lyric, come on, a quote to a, a song lyric, but we're not going to sing to that. We're going to talk about this quote. Fear in our life, fear is something that is one of those emotions you're going to go through in your lifetime several times over right several times over you're gonna be happy you're gonna be sad you're gonna be angry and you're gonna be fearful about something maybe you're a parent and you have kids and so let me hear, i'm here to tell you as a parent of seven kids count them that's on the regular that's a timer that goes off daily <laughs> that should be a quote <laughs> Parenting and fear is a set timer that goes off daily. You're going to have fear about everything. If they're little, are they going to fall? Are they going to hurt themselves? Are they going to burn themselves? If they're teenagers, are the hormones going to drive me crazy? Are they going to drive them crazy? Am I going to be able to manage? I don't think I'm going to be able to manage it. If they're a young adult, will the decisions in their life uh, serve them to be the successful and motivated young person or young adult I've raised them to be. And if they're older, after they have their life settled, if your children are older, will they do better than what you wanted for yourself and wanted for them? There's just fear everywhere we turn. There's scripture, if you'll allow me to quote a scripture, Scripture tells us that uh, sin is crouching at your door like a lion. And that was one of my favorite quotes because it helps me to understand that even if I wake up feeling a certain way, 
there was going to be some kind of temptation, some type of mechanism out there that wanted to see me to fall or to see me fail. And I feel like fear is like that as well, because we question ourselves, because we doubt ourselves, because we doubt others, because we're unsure, because we don't trust. Fear is a huge, huge mechanism that can get the wheels going so fast and quickly before you even have time to slow them down. That, that's how fear does. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how many times, whether it's good or bad. We're talking about fear to get on a roller coaster. You know, it's just like, oh gosh, am I going to feel like this? Am I going to do this? Am I going to throw up? Or something bad, fear that that job promotion, you're not going to get it and you won't be able to support your family like you thought you would. Or just fear of that person that you love so much is going to uh, break your heart or fear that your best friend is not going to understand the deep, dark secrets and catacombs of your mind and think you're crazy. So we battle this all the time. So that's just setting you up for fear. We battle this all the time. And so that's what fear is. It's the what if. Fear, uh, by some respects, for a long time, the acronym for fear is um, what is fear? Something evidence appearing real. False, there we go. Oh, Lord Jesus, the mind. False evidence appearing real. So that's where the what if comes in because you don't have anything stable. You don't have anything concrete when that starts percolating your in your head about fear, right? It's false evidence appearing real. And so that's what fear says. It says, what if? And then when you get entangled in that, you get entangled to believe that some of the stuff, the negative self-talk that's happening, it's hard to get out from under there. And so some people uh, get so caught up in it, it rules their life. And so, again, fear can be such a big beast. Um, Kirk Franklin has a beautiful song about fear. Um, and just talking about, you know, so long goodbye, you know, just outlining everything that fear has been and what fear uh, represents in that song. So if you have not heard that song, just look at the lyrics, they'll move you. And it really talks about how that person confronts fear. And so with the rest of this quote though, remember the rest, it says, but faith says, even if, even if, and, and just the difference of what a word makes. So we had fear with what if, and just that churning back and forth of what will happen, what, what will occur to faith saying, even if. So fear would say, well, what if I don't get this job that I am trying to, uh, to acquire to help my family, you know, money-wise? Faith says, even if. I don't get this job, I'm still gonna be okay. I'm gonna find a way. It's more definite. It's more definite. And it gives you a little positivity and boost this room for hope. Even if, and I would go on to say that even if it does not work out the way I want it to, I'm still gonna have faith because eventually it is. Woo, that's strong right there. That's strong right there even if it does not work out. So no matter what I come up with that will challenge that fact, if I just resonate on the fact that it will happen someday, it will work out some way, then that's what it's all about. Faith says, even if. So, as an adult, I have had some trying times where fear has tried to take over. 
Um, so many times we're talking about jobs, you know, will I be able to do this job? Will I be able to do this job in the way that I want? And thankfully, every job I've had has turned out in the way it was supposed to, even if despite the odds, despite um, everything that I went through, you know, um, it worked out. And so my best example for you today, you know, once I give you the quote, I gotta give you a story, I gotta give you a story <laughs> about how this quote resonates with me. So I became pregnant at 45, actually 44 years of age. I wrote a book about it, like spirit, not today. <laughs> but I became pregnant at 44. Um, I had the baby at age 45 and man, you're talking about fear. You're talking about what if, what if I die soon and who's going to raise this child or, you know, I have to depend on his father or my children because at the time, uh, a lot of my kids were older. And the age difference between the youngest two is like eight years. And so I thought, Lord have mercy, how, how am I gonna do this? Seven, eight years is the gap, I believe. And so how am I gonna do this? So fear says, what if, what if, what if I die on the uh, uh, delivery table? What, what if I can't raise them properly? What if I can't afford it? Cause I'm gonna be on Medicare. By the time he gets to college, will I be able to work? All of these things, Fear really got into my head and did a number. I mean, for a while, for a while. And so um, it took a community <laughs> to get me there. It took me a community to get me there to just kind of calm down. But what's so funny about it is that with the community of people, um, shout out to the community, uh, with the community of people that helped me The, the most important thing that really came about in that was the faith that it just transferred. I'm a big energy transferring person. I always try to find energy that I'm feeling. I do an energy scan or a body scan to see what's going on. And then I try my best to transfer that energy to something positive. And so that fear was transferred to faith because somewhere along the line, probably when I actually saw his face for the very first time, faith came in and said, even if. So faith came in and said, even if you're 45 and having this baby, it's still going to be all right. All those things you worry about going to work out. So I would even go to first to say, even though you're 45, even though you're not where you are financially, uh, because in your head you say, fear says, what if I can't afford this baby? Faith said, even if you can't afford this baby, your baby will be taken care of and provided for. And I'm telling you, have a baby at 45 and see how many people come into your life and just start blessing you. God just worked it out. So fear says, what if? Faith says, even if. It, 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 like, it, it, it truly negates that what and replaces it with something positive and more affirmative that is going to get done. You know, the Bible talks about putting on, putting off the old man and putting on a new man. So it's just this, this energy transference that happens that lets you know that you have to uh, shed off one and replace it with something but that replacement can be something positive. I think that's why we have all of these opposites, you know? And so know that fear is healthy. Fear is a part of the process. You, you're not gonna be positive all the time. You're not gonna be sad all the time. You're not gonna be happy all the time. You're not gonna be fearful all the time. But just remember, there's another side to the, to the mountain. There's another side to the hill. There's green grass on the other side. Just because there's weeds on this one, there's a patch just a few feet 
further that don't have needs. So hopefully this will help you. Hopefully uh, this resonated you, with you in, uh, in such a positive way, because it did for me. That's why I had to bring it on, because this is something we fight daily. And if this fear is something that has not been able to be replaced, has been something that you can't shake off, something that you can't get on the other side of the mountain or to the other side of the hill with, seek some help. Seek some help. No one wants to see you suffering like that. No one wants to see you living a fearful life. Get that community. Get that professional. Get that pastor. Get that sensei. Get your motivation and your meditation on. Whatever it takes, get it done so you can get to the other side of faith and faith. And so you can be able to hear. Because faith don't say it, but can you hear it? Can you hear it when faith says, even if? Oh, that's another overture right there. Can you hear it? It'll say it. Faith will say it, but can you hear it? Can you hear me? Faith talking to you. Faith is talking to you. So I hope this particular lesson brought you the type of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement because it blessed my soul. And so this is our episode. I, I could go on. That's why I'm looking up. I was like, I could go on, but I'm going to just stop right there because, you know, I try to dedicate it <laughs> to 15 minutes. But just know that you can fill in the dot, dot, dot of this story about fear versus faith in this story. So I hope today's show brought you to the point of inspiration and encouragement. And as always, I'm your host. And remember, whatever you say, wherever you go, whatever you touch, you can make the difference absolutely and positively. And get your get your ear, get your ear hustle on so you can hear what faith has to say. Take care, guys. As always, shout out to 3M Mute Mobile Media. Like, subscribe, and that's been our show. Take care. Have a good one. Be blessed.